There was a time that the people didn't go into the presence of God when they died. The justified. That was in the Old Testament. They went into a place called paradise. And there the souls of the just waited in paradise. But paradise was a place where God kept the souls in like a dreamland until the blood of Jesus Christ was shed. For the blood of bulls and goats would not take away sin. It only covered up sin. But Jesus' blood takes away sin. Amen. Did you notice that his, when he died at Calvary and on his return, he brought out from the graves those dead saints that had died under the atonement of Amen. blood of bulls and goats and heifers, and they entered into the city. Oh, and appeared to many. How beautiful a picture. Oh, if we could paint it just a moment. Look at Jesus when he died. Here, as I've often said, I believe in the church here. There's a, a row here, like, in here lives mortal beings. And each one is in this great conglomeration of gaiety, of blackness and darkness. Mortals live in here. Now, they're either influenced from this way or from that way. You cannot be here, a spiritual being, sinner or saint, without having an influence from the underworld or from the above world. Amen. If you're influenced from here, you're from above. Amen. Your celestial body is waiting up here. But if you're wicked and hypocritical and indifferent, your celestial body is down here regardless of how much you think it's up there. Amen. Because the fruit that you bear before people proves where you're from. Amen. Amen. So you are here what you are somewhere else. Your life that you live here is just reflecting what your inheritance is when you leave here. Do you understand? We are right now. Oh, when I think of that. We are right now glorified in the presence of God. Amen. Born again believers. For if this earthly tabernacle be dissolved, we have one already waiting in glory. Not somewhere else right now. They're already waiting now. And these earthly bodies grown to be clothed up on that immortality. Is that right? Amen. Sickness and aches and pains and disappointments and heartaches. And, oh, I'll be glad when the old pest house is closed up, won't you? <laughs> yes, sir, we can go home. That's right. Yes, we are grown to be clothed up on. The Spirit's groaning. Oh, when they look and see all the things around about. All this conglomeration of stink and sin and Mortal living and deceit and everything. I think, oh God, how much longer will it be? 